hello everyone today we are going to work on this planet material so uh, the special thing about this material is so even though we have a single direction light and we have set the scene to look like a night scene with less light uh, but we get uh, we can see the planet in the sky clearly so it should look like that it is getting light from the star even though we don't get the light from this side of the planet that we are in even though it is night time for us that planet is still getting light somehow so uh, with a single direction light we can't achieve those two things so i have created this material this unlit material with a fake lighting uh, shading effect so that we can change the direction that this shadow uh, based on a parameter so here I have defined this sun direction parameter and by changing the values here we can change the direction this planet is getting light so yeah that's what we are going to work on today right so this is the same map i worked on the this asteroid build yesterday so let me add a simple sphere here for the planet but uh I'm not going to use this one because this object is uh, does not have enough polygons so there is another sphere in engine content something like engine sphere So yeah, this one editor sphere. So this one has two thousand vertices. So this is this has a high polygon. So I'm going to use this one, and I need to place this in the somewhere very far away. So maybe let me just move it over here. It should be behind this asteroid bed size it's pretty close so that's why ah. it's still in front of right now it's behind the asteroid bed 25,000 scale should be larger right this scale should be fine okay uh, now next we need the material so for that I have already imported this Jupiter texture so actually this is a uh, you can just google this google Jupiter texture and you will get this so let me create a material M Jupiter or oh, let's call it M planet so let me use this material okay so this uh, this does look fine uh, here but the problem is when it is night time we can't see this uh, planet so in the night time also we should be able to see this so let's make this scene look like the night time 
versatile radius the intensity like 0.5 but still we don't get the change in the light level because of auto exposure so let's set this to manual and exposure compensation 10 right now this looks pretty dark skylight i have set it to source type as cls specified qmap and qmap as the qmap i have used this daylight which is again from engine content daylight ambient qmap so yeah this is how we see the planet now but uh, the planet is in the sky far away so it can get sunlight or light from whatever the light source even though we don't get the light because maybe we are in the other side of the uh, we, we may be in the opposite side where the planet is facing uh, into the sun so how do we make this planet lit without having an actual direction light separately for this planet so for that let me open this material and if i just add this emissive color to this planet and you can see it's fully lit but that doesn't look realistic because uh, no matter what's the direction or position of this object it will be always lit so we need to have some kind of a fake a lighting system so for that let me get pixel normal and multiply this with the emissive color then we will get some difference see it's not good but we do get some difference so now this already looks like this planet is getting light from this direction uh, but the color is also changed because we are just multiplying it with this pixel normal so what we can do is let's create another vector parameter um, and i'll name this uh, some direction and do a dot product between pixel normal and this vector and use it to multiply now the sun direction is zero 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 so we don't um, get any chain so if i make this one we should see some difference see let me apply see now it looks like this side is dark mm. but if we go fully wait let me promote these materials parameters and also see how it looks let's just leave them let me make this fully on it now the other side is fully dark which is not maybe not ideal so we can do a clamping here 
and as the minimum value we can have something like this right now we can somewhat see the dark area also see we can still see the edge but if I increase this a bit more Maybe too much. Right, that's better. Okay, now, so even though this looks like it is getting light from a directional light, it's not. It's fully based on the material. So if we want, let me. We have this sun direction so we can change the direction of the light by changing this parameter sun direction parameter So I used R1, G minus 0.2 and B as 0. So now this is how the planet looks. So yeah. Alright, so this is our simple uh, planet rendering material and I'm going to stop this episode right here. So if you want, you can uh, maybe promote this to a parameter in a material collection parameter or you can convert this uh, sphere planet into a blueprint and then update as as I change the direction light direction you can just update this parameter in the editor maybe in through the construction script so that you can set it set this value through the code without manually having to set that right so yeah thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode Goodbye.